Hello everyone, welcome back to the second episode of One Problem Per Day until my interview. I'm a BPHO Round 2 gold medalist and in this series I will be introducing you to one interesting Olympia problem per day so you can cook in your interview. I will firstly go through the solutions for the problems last week. And at the end of the video, I will introduce you to the problems for you to do today. I think this is a very beautiful problem, so if you haven't done it yet, give it a try. And if you get very stuck, don't worry, I'll give you a few hints before going through the solutions. We know the rod will be in equilibrium, which means that the force must be balanced. And the moments must also be balanced no matter what pivot point we choose. Now, let's look at what forces are acting on the loop. There's the normal reaction force and the friction from the revolving shaft and the weight of the mast attached to the end of the rod. The crux of this question is to figure out where the contact point between the rod and the shaft is, so that we can know the direction of the normal and the friction force to balance them out with the weight and know where they act so we can balance out the moment caused by the weight. Therefore, for a known contact point, we can find an angle such that the conditions above are both satisfied. Now, if you try the problem really hard, you will know that finding the contact point is actually really hard. How long would the friction keep the rod rotating with the shaft before the weight causes it to slip? And how many times does this process have to occur in order for it to reach a position where the forces and the moments are balanced? Now, let's ask ourselves some questions. Why are we stuck? Because we don't know where the contact point is, so we can't do our usual force and moment analysis. One approach that we could do um, is possibly to figure out where the contact point is, but that is too much of a fuss. It would make sense to look for other approaches, right? If force analysis cannot proceed without the contact point being found, let's double check the moments. As we can set our pivot points anywhere, what is the best way to set our pivot points such that it simplifies the problem the most? Now that is the most important hint for this question. Pause now and have a think before I reveal the solution. For an arbitrary setup, if we set the contact points to be our pivot point, then the moment of the normal reaction and the friction force will be zero because the perpendicular distance will be zero. This means only weight will contribute to the moment, but our total moment must be zero for the rod to be in equilibrium. So the moment of the weight must be zero as well. Its line of action must pass through the pivot. With this in mind, can you now draw the correct setup to the problem? For the maths problem, 3 and 8 are a special combination. When the integrand consists of a product of some functions, in addition to thinking about integration by parts, think about whether a part of the product can be due to a substitution as well, i.e. if it can be removed by integration by substitution. For example, if we let u is equal to x to the power of 4, we get du is equal to 4x to the power of 3. Therefore, we can cancel the x cubed. This holds for any functions of u on the left-hand side as well. For example, f u is x to the power of 4. We get f dash u du is equal to 4x cubed. Now, the specific substitution of u is equal to x to the power of 4 doesn't get the job done.
if we observe the interground more carefully, doesn't this form look familiar? Isn't it the standard scenario of substitution by tan? Your physics problem for today is this one, which is quite likely to come up in an interview. And your maths problem for today is this. From the feedback last time, I have adjusted the difficulty for today's problem to make them very slightly easier. Always give me feedback on whether the level of difficulty is just right for you. I really appreciate these feedbacks because I really want to help you guys the most. Have fun and enjoy the problems. Peace.